Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. It's Ashisha with She's So Crafty. I am coming back today with a new tutorial on how to sublimate a 30 ounce tumbler as well as a kid's flip top tumbler using the Cricut Mug Press. Now, in the past videos, you all see me do the 20 ounce tumblers um, using a full wrap, but this time I want to go ahead and try to do a 30 ounce because I know that has been requested and I haven't had the chance to actually try it myself yet. So this is going to be our time to see if it actually works or not. And we'll start with the 30 ounce uh, skinny tumbler just to see. Now the dimensions of this skinny tumbler um, is 10 inches diameter going around and then it's like nine and a half inches tall. So because of the printer that I use, which is the Epson ET2720, you can only print eight and a half inches wide by 47 inches long. So with that, um, what I did was I decided to print as big as I can on my actual um, ECT or the ET2720 on my paper, which is the eight and a half by 11 um, sheet. And because this is a 10 inch, what I always like to do is I do like to go, so what I did was like 10.1 inches just so that way I'll have enough. So once it's cut off, it'll still touch. Um, that's what I did, but because it's only eight and a half or it's eight and a quarter inches tall, what I did was I cut an extra little strip here so that way I can kind of, I'm gonna butt it up and tape it together and to see if that'll work and give us a seamless look. Um, now this part down here, I am going to utilize this on a face mask, not on a kid's tumbler. <laughs> I'm going to use that on a face mask at a later time. So um, I'll show you all at a, in a later video what how I use that on an actual face mask itself. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cut. And then I have my two, my full strip here or my full wrap as well as my tiny strip down here at the bottom. Now what you could do is you could try to butt it up right on the edge where maybe it got cut off. But because of the way, um, the way that I split the image, it doesn't exactly butt up. So what I decided to do was just flip it all the way around instead. And I'm just going to put it like this so that way it has that little gap in between there because obviously I mean that's it's a, le a full leopard print so it doesn't really need to be butted up against each other it can have that gap and still look great and then that's going to give me more of that seamless flawless look that I'm looking for anyways and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a little piece of tape actually and I'm going to put it on the back of one part of my image So what I am going to do is I actually place the tape just on half of a piece of tape on the back of the smaller strip. So then that way the other half is hanging off of it. And then I can just actually place this right on top and just line it up edge to edge where I want it to be. That just makes it a lot easier to tape down the entire thing. And so then once I have that right up against each other, it makes it one full image now. And my line is right there. So then I'm just gonna flip it back over and I'm just gonna put more tape just to finish off that back side, just so that way once I actually apply it to the tumblers, there's no gaps, so then that way we can avoid any ghosting coming through those uh, areas that may be open because of the air possibly coming through. So you can sometimes tell when it's not flush with the cup, you'll see maybe like a slight gap there. But if you take your nail and you just rub it, 
it almost becomes as if it is flush with the cup. So that's what I look for is I just try to see are there any like slight gaps at the very bottom at the top um, and if they are I just continue to rub it until it looks like there is no more of a gap or it's a very slight gap um, because even if there is like a very slight gap with you having that tape going around and it's overlapping it and it's actually um, taped in place on the actual cup there's no air that's going to get through there. All right so we have this rubbed around and it feels great. So we're gonna go ahead and press it. Um, let me see, pull my timer out. Again, I have my time set for one minute and 30 seconds. Um, that is what I use for the 20 ounce tumbler. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that again for the same one because this is a lot thicker of a tumbler. Uh, or a lot wider in diameter. I don't feel that I need to use the cardboard. So we're gonna go ahead and attempt to do it without it. And I'm gonna start with the bottom, um, just down in there. Um, I know, again, like I said before, with the bottom, that uh, silver plate, that heat plate down there, it can scuff it up. So what I did was I just threw a piece of parchment paper. I'm just like a little piece that I just ripped off or cut out a square of it and just threw it down in there. So then that way it touch, it doesn't actually touch that. And I'm gonna put my seam, I like to put my seam diagonal to this opening spot that's gonna be right there. So we're gonna put that there and let that go for a minute and 30 seconds and then we'll be back to check that here shortly. Okay guys, so actually I let that go for two minutes and I'll tell you the reason why. Now you can see where it's sublimated through and that's, that's perfect, no no ink got on the actual um, heat press itself. But let me go ahead, I'm gonna flip this around and then I'm not going to, I am going to go ahead and let that go, but I'm not gonna use my timer actually because, well no, let me go ahead, I'm gonna use my timer timer uh, but what I noticed was this time I let it go for two minutes and the only reason why is because I noticed that the lights this time went all the way through and it was exactly two minutes long so because I'd used my timer and I, it stopped at 1 30 but I noticed it was on the fourth light and it was blinking still and I was just like well I'm gonna just let it go so I restarted my timer and I let it go and as soon as my timer was up for like after an additional 30 seconds, which makes two minutes, this beat. So that told me that this was already set to two minutes for, or it recognized it for being two minutes with the 30 ounce tumbler. So I'm not sure if that's something that Cricut um, did in theirs, on their back end, in their back office, if they've updated their software um, to recognize that, hey, maybe with like a 30 ounce tumbler, you can do it for two minutes long on each side. I'm not sure. Um, but I just wanted to point that out to you all. So, yeah, I was excited to see that because right now we have about 20-something seconds, like 21 seconds left. And we're on the last little bit here. And that's for two minutes. And we'll see what happens if it, if it beeps at the same time. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and just flip it over and we'll just, yep. Oh, that's my timer, sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, two minutes, see? So it's like, I don't know, again, like I said, if they've um, gone through and just updated their software to say, hey, two minutes is good. And I'm sorry, guys, I'm looking for my other mat so that way I can go ahead and flip this bad boy over um but or I could just do it this way but yeah I, I noticed that and I was just like huh so I figured that was something that I felt was worth sharing with you all so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over get this one subbed on this other side and then um I'm not going to hold you all the entire time I'm just gonna go ahead and sublimate both sides of it and then we'll be back once it's done to do the reveal okay so Time is up, and it is time for the big, Oop. that's the piece thing, it's down there, for the big reveal. 
So, I know some people say, hey, wait, give it a few minutes or so. Yada, yada, yada. Use um, safety gloves and all that good stuff. I'm going to actually just put a piece of this right here. Um, but I don't. I just use my fingernails. So, we shall see how how it turned out are you all excited i am let's see Woo! look at her so this is the results that I got, you guys. Now, you can kind of see a line here. There looks like there's something on the back there. I can't really tell. That's just the paper. Part of it is just the paper. Most of it's just the paper. But there is, like, some smudging or something back there i'm not really sure what that is i've never had that had that before i'm not sure what that's called but yeah so i mean it did work there is no ghosting at the top this is just like the leftover stuff in the paper but wipe that off no ghosting at the top no ghosting at the bottom And then the only thing that you see is just here where it kind of overlapped. It just overlapped and some of the ink that was on that overlap part came through on this part as well. Some of the extra ink that was from that overlap part. But like I said, you could just cut it down to where it doesn't overlap or do that. Um, I don't even think that's the overlapping ink. No, because you could just see the straight line there. So I'm not really sure with that it's almost like it's whatever this is and i don't know if you can kind of tell i'm not sure anyone knows what that's called let me know i mean it doesn't look bad i mean it does look bad but it's not horrible um and then the only other thing that i can tell is right here where you can see that entire line where i kind of butted it up against each other now what i would suggest because of doing that is instead of just putting my two pieces together side by side trying to butt them up as close as possible maybe instead on the back side of this what i could have done was actually just overlapped it a little bit so i could have instead of putting it straight together maybe just overlapped it just just a hair just a tad bit so then that way once it did sublimate there wouldn't have been that white line there but from afar you can't really tell I like it. So it does work, you all. You can definitely sublimate a 30-ounce skinny tumbler using the Cricut Mug Press. There are some things that you just need to work through. Um, I don't know if this happened because, let's see, it just happened to be right at the top part of that. So maybe, and see, and then I had, I always put my mugs, I've learned to put my tumblers up. I can't see I've learned to put my tumblers just a little bit over the plate. And I think that's probably what it is. It's because it's not hitting that heating element. So maybe what you could do... Ouch. Uh, <laughs> that was stupid. What you could... Because this thing is still on, does Shisha? Uh, what you could do is maybe hold it up some. Just so that way you can get that bottom, that top seam on there. But then maybe repress it again. Letting it go all the way down just to get that middle part so then that way it doesn't fade there. I'm not sure. I'll have to do more research on what exactly that's called. It's almost like like the ink was wet or something and it had shifted or something. That's what it almost looks like even through here. And I'm, I don't know. It's just weird. But, um, yeah, I'll do more research on that, y'all, and get back to you and let you all know. But this is the 30-ounce skinny tumbler using the only an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper with an extra strip cut off at the bottom so that way we can cover the entire amount 
um, or the entire tumbler. So it was a success. You can definitely do a 30 ounce skinny tumbler. And we did not have to use the cardboard insert because it is wide and thick enough to actually just press in there by itself, just like a, um, a coffee mug is. So it's a success. I like it. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the actual kids um, flip top tumbler. Now, you want to remember, y'all, to take your lids off because inside, well, there's usually just a straw inside of these. I'm not sure what these extra pieces are. I got these two. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? I bet you this is like an extension, an ex extender almost to, because with these straws, when they're just inside of the original part up in here, it doesn't get all the way to the bottom of the cup. So a lot of the times my girls, because I made cups for them just like this, my girls are like, I can't get that bottom. So they take the lid off and just use it as like a regular cup. But this is smart to have that. Not sure where you got two, maybe to make it even more longer, but then it's too long at that point. So, uh, but yeah, that's smart to have like that extender piece. So then that way you can actually um, add that in. But anyway, so you want to make sure that you open up this, take that out, or take the lid off because you have pieces inside, and obviously you don't want to sublimate with the lid on. So we're going to just set that to the side. I am going to just go ahead and put this back in there down at the bottom. And then I do have my cute little designs over here. Clean up my area. I have some cute little designs already pre-printed out. Um, and because I'm using the teal and pink, top let's find a design here i'll use this one this one's cute and um i did print these all out to be the same exact size they are printed at um shoot what are they they're 9.05 inches wide and then eight and a quarter or eight and three quarters high is what the dimensions are for these. Um, those are not my standard dimensions that I would typically use for these because um, I usually use the straight tumblers, but because this is a taper one, I went with the widest part, which was nine inches down here. So I went with the width of that one for this. Obviously, it doesn't fit without the cardboard. So, I'm going to go ahead and just throw in some cardboard pieces um, just to have those in there. And then, but we're going to do, again, with the seam in, cardboard pieces in. I probably don't need that much cardboard. Cardboard pieces in, all the way down. And we're going to close it over and let it go for a minute and 30 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and just turn this all the way around with the seam facing us. And again, it's not getting that top part of it. Um, it's actually a little bit more than an eighth. So we're going to go ahead, oops, I forgot to start my timer. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over and allow it to go as we would do just a 20 ounce or a 30 ounce mug just to see um what the results are um i have not allowed any tumblers to stay in longer than two minutes um on each side so i'm not sure with it being with it basically going to hit most of that tumbler uh more than the time limit that I would normally have it in for I'm not sure if it will burn or not so we're gonna see this again like I said this is my first time with you all doing the kids tumbler as well as the 30 ounce so this is our test run guys I love test runs so we're gonna try it out and see what happens <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and see who what our results are. All right, and for 
for the big reveal. It looks actually pretty good. Let's see. Oh, snap. <laughs> I'm so excited because it looked as if it turned out perfect, you all. Oh, my goodness. Except for the back scene. The lining up. My lining up is just not perfect, but I mean... I knew that already because I'm as blind as a bat, if you all didn't know that. And I don't wear glasses nor contacts, and I know I should, but I don't. So, look at that. Oh, my goodness. So, besides, like I said, besides the, the seam, where it's just obviously not lined up, it looks perfect. Um, there does look as if there's maybe one sort. It looks like it's smeared, just, just a tad bit, like right there right there but I mean you can barely tell other than that I have to say that this turned out perfectly and it's actually not that hot anywhere so this actually turned out really really well y'all I am so super excited oh my goodness because look at that even at the top I mean let me get up close so you can see even at the top there's no ghosting it's even there's no lines no wrinkles, no bubbles, no gaps, no smearing of any sort up there. This looks perfect. I mean, it looks perfect, you all. Like, even at the bottom. Oh, my goodness. And this is a, a slightly tapered kids um, flip top cup. And I did not use a tapered template at all i just use a straight rectangular template which again is 9.05 inches wide and then eight and three quarters inches high um wow i am amazed at the results of this tumbler like it just looks so beautiful and this is really pretty and the closer I get up on this, I think it has like a glittery glaze to it. I'm not sure if that's the sublimation or if it's just my eyes playing tricks on me. No, it's definitely, this one is like a glittered kids tumbler. I did not notice that before, but it has a sparkle to it. Oh, I'm so excited. This is so pretty. It turned out so amazing. Oh, look at that with the lid on there and everything. Oh, darn. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm doing it right. Okay, then bake off the... No, I didn't. Maybe I did. No, I didn't. <laughs> I had to push it down in there. It does, Shisha. Oh, wait, that's... Oh, my goodness. Look at that, y'all. That is so pretty. That looks good. I am so excited. I am so happy that that actually worked. I honestly have to tell you, if you couldn't hear it in my voice before, I was nervous. But I am so excited. I cannot wait to make the rest of them. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. They are going to love this. Oh, I'm a cool girl. I'm a cool girl. That's cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so yes. So. For today's video thank you all again like i said for joining me i'm so excited with the results i have never ever done anything with a taper at all and i was so nervous about doing this because this is a slight taper up here it's like eight inches and a quarter down here it measures at um, about nine inches down here or it is nine inches down here so because of that i printed my paper to just be just a smidge over the nine inches so then that way it would cover the entire thing and when I did cover the entire thing at the top it overlaps at the top you can kind of see where it really overlaps whereas the bottom it just overlaps as much as you need it to whereas at the top it overlaps too much and so yeah, I was nervous because I didn't know how that would turn out up there and it actually turned out well. The only thing is, is if you have a design where you sort of want it to like match up, <laughs> try to make sure that all your lines match up. I pretty much got that one, but I didn't pay attention to the rest of them. But other than that, it looks great and I'm not going to complain about it. I think it looks good. Um, also, my other concern was when I did wrap it, 
it started to like buckle on me or bubble up up here and it started to create all those creases but like I said, go through with your nail. If you see those creases, just go through and try to just, you know how you're like, if you're putting like plastic on something, you want to remove those air bubbles, just push them out. Just try to just flatten it out as best as you could. And that seemed to work because there's no creases, no lines, no bubbles, nothing, no, not even ghosting up here at the top. So it works, you all. So you can do the kids tapered or I would say slightly tapered. I'm not sure about the ones that have more of the bulge in the middle of the kind of like the hump the way it's shaped um but this one the slightly taper one does work in the Cricut mug press as well as the 30 ounce um, skinny tumblers works well in the Cricut mug press as well so yes thank you all for joining me again click that subscribe button hit that no bell notification as well as like this video um if you have any questions comments concerns or even suggestions please, please, please leave it in a comment. I do try my best to get back with everyone as far as with answers to any questions that you may have. I also do utilize the suggestions that you all have um, provided me as well. Um, and then I also do take, uh, I guess, special requests. Um, I know I have some requests on trying to do face masks. So again, like I said, I'm going to show you all how to do the this style face mask, how to sublimate these as well as the cone face mask which I put back in the bag I should have left out um, which is this style with the seam down the middle and it's shaped like this so I'll show you all how to sublimate both of those in my next upcoming video so be sure to subscribe so you'll be the first person notified all right everyone thank you so much for joining peace out